Hello creatives! In this video, I'll share how to save money like a minimalist. I'll reveal to you 10 foolproof minimalist money-saving tips you can use today to help you achieve your financial goals quickly. According to American author Jackie French Collar, there are two ways to be rich. One is by acquiring much, and the other is by desiring little. I'm going to speak about the latter. There are numerous ways to save money today, and one of them is living like a minimalist. Most people think of minimalism as just a form of decluttering, but I have a different perception. To me, being a minimalist is to want a little and to live with less. That means fewer expenses and more savings. It also means not having to borrow and prioritizing needs over wants. However, let me talk about savings. Minimalism makes saving effortless. Given that you've got fewer wants, you can direct your money to savings easily. Whether you want to save for emergencies, investments, or retirement, it's easily achievable with minimalism. You avoid the compulsiveness of buying, which is a disease for most people who don't live a minimalist life. Now, how do you do it? I'll share 10 smart tips with you to help you live like a minimalist and save money in the long run. Watch out for the 10 second and the 30 day rules as they are the minimalists best saving secrets. But before then, if you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel to continue receiving great videos like this one. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get informed every time I publish a life changing video. Let's dive in. Number 1. Budget for every dollar. A budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. Those are the words by personal finance expert Dave Ramsey. Minimalists always budget their money. They ensure they give every dollar a job, and that means they don't waste any. With a budget, it's not only easy to manage your income, but also easier to save. A budget helps you prioritize the essential expenses like needs and savings as you cut down on costly habits. It's also through budgeting that you can set up an emergency fund and save towards retirement. If you are new to budgeting, try the 50-30-20 rule in this video above. This budgeting method dictates that you divide your after-tax income into needs, 50%, wants, 30%, and savings, 20%. The takeaway, start telling your money where to go by setting up a budget. It's the only way you can take control of your money. Number 2. Downsize Minimalist living calls for less storage space and that often means moving to a smaller house. Once you have a smaller house, the expenses are fewer. From rent to utility costs, you don't spend as much as someone living in a bigger house. So, if you're looking to save money and are currently paying for a bigger house, it's time you downsize. Furthermore, it lets you live in a small, simple space that you don't have to clutter. Often, it's the temptation to fill up our spaces that pushes us to spend unnecessarily. Therefore, you can avoid these costs when you downsize. The takeaway. Consider downsizing to save on housing costs and unnecessary expenses. Number 3. Declutter for cash. According to Maya Angelou, we need much less than we think we need. That makes me think of decluttering. The chances are that a few things are hanging around your space that you could probably do without. So why don't you get rid of them? I'm not saying you should destroy them or give them away for free. On the contrary, I'm suggesting you sell them online on a place like Craigslist or organize a garage sale. While decluttering can bring in some cash, it also saves you some. Once you declutter, you are less likely to buy the same things or any other things unless they are essential. That allows you to stay budget tight and save more money. The takeaway, start decluttering to live a minimalist life and save money. Number 4. Cut down on costly subscriptions. Henry David Thoreau once confessed, I make myself rich by making my wants few. One way you can make your wants few and save money is by cutting down on costly subscriptions. We spend so much money on gym memberships, TV subscriptions, internet costs, among many other subscriptions. How about you save on them? One approach is for scaling it back. In that case, you don't have to cancel the service, but you start paying for a cheaper package and that saves you money. 
you can apply the tip to your TV and internet subscriptions. You can also cut down on subscriptions by negotiating for lower rates. Talk to your service provider about a possible reduction in your monthly rates. If you can't do it, then use Trim. The app can negotiate for lower subscriptions on your behalf. What's more, it locates Go subscriptions, subscriptions you probably aren't aware of, to save you money. Number 5. Use public transport. Owning a car is expensive. You have to fuel it and take it for servicing often. You also have to pay for its insurance or storage when you go into a public place. So, when minimalists look at all these expenses, they prefer to use public transport. Public transportation is cheaper, which means you get to save on money. It's not the most comfortable or convenient way to move around, but you'll save money. Essential in a minimalist life. Even when you have a car, minimalist living is not driving it often, so it doesn't wear quickly or cost a lot to maintain. The takeaway, start using public transport to save on car ownership costs. Number 6. Track your expenses. It sounds like a no-brainer, but the reality is that most of us don't track our spending. Living minimalist means monitoring your expenses. You have to recognize where your money is going. If you notice overages, you can adjust your spending to save up. Do you know how you can track your expenses? Today, there are so many expense tracking apps that you can use to track your expenditure almost effortlessly. They include personal capital, Wally, YNAB, and Mint. You can also track your expense by checking your financial statements. As Alik Ice advises, keep your eyes on the price when spending. Don't regret later to find that you have nothing for tomorrow. The takeaway, find the most convenient way to start tracking your expenses to see where you can save. 7. Observe the 10 second rule. Before I can make a purchase that I haven't planned for, I always take a moment to consider if I should get it or not. I guess what I've been observing all along has been the 10 second rule without realizing it. Well, I came to learn later that most minimalists apply the rule when shopping. Ask yourself, do I need this item? If you have doubts, then you should drop the idea. If it's a straight yes, then go ahead and grab the purchase. It'll surprise you that you don't need nearly 90% of the items you want to buy. The takeaway, live the minimalist way by always considering an impromptu purchase before making them. Number 8. Shop with a grocery list. According to Mukokoma Mukonawana, not wasting money is the best way to save money. Minimalists don't just set a budget, they specify what they want to buy. That means they only get what they need. In the long run, that saves them money as they don't buy on impulse or excess. So, how do you create a money-saving shopping list? For starters, ensure you write down all the grocery supplies that you need and specify the quantity. Also, try to see how you can save on supplies. It might mean using coupons or taking advantage of sales. And when you get to the store, ensure you use the list. The takeaway, learn to prepare a grocery list in advance and use it when you get to the shops. Number 9. Adopt the 30-day rule. When it comes to major purchases, minimalists take up to a month to think things over. They apply the 30-day rule, which helps them decide if the budget is befitting. Often, you forget some purchases before the 30 days. If that happens, then it's clear you didn't need the item. However, if you still think about it all month and feel you need it, then you can buy it. A minimalist tries hard not to bring clutter home, and this rule helps a lot. More importantly, it allows you to spend your money wisely on things that matter and you get to save big. The takeaway, adopt the 30-day rule to start avoiding costly expenses and get to save like a minimalist. Number 10. Buy used where applicable. Minimalists always look for opportunities to save, and buying used is still an option. Before they can buy a new item, they first consider second-hand options. You can get most second-hand items for almost half price or even less. It's essential, however, that you don't waste your money. A minimalist will only spend money on an item if it promises better value. They have a frugal mindset, enabling them to get the most out of everything they pay for. Remember, however, that some things are not worth buying used. 
That includes smartphones, bedding, and baby cribs. The takeaway, buy used where applicable to start saving money. Remember, you have to get value for it. In conclusion, living like a minimalist can go a long way in saving you money. You get to have fewer expenses and that translates into more savings. I know this video was exciting and you loved it. Also check out this exciting video about 10 daily habits of frugal people that save money and other life-changing resources in the description below. If you haven't subscribed yet, you're definitely missing out. See you 